when I log into a Chromebook, it takes me to this page. So when we're on the desktop, we need to discuss something important, password security. So any of your accounts that you've ever signed into, if you're on the Tanana Computer Lab using these computers, or if you're on your school-issued Chromebooks, your passwords are gonna automatically sync based on the settings that you have on Chrome. So we need to learn how to turn this off so that whenever you log into a new Chromebook, those settings aren't automatically gonna sync, so it's not gonna automatically log you on. Okay, so when you open your Chromebook, if you wanna access your password security, there's two ways to do this. First, you can go down here to this button in the lower right-hand corner, and then go to settings. Here in settings, you can access your passwords and determine if you want them to sync between computers. I don't want it to sync because anytime you sync, it will show up on any computer you log into. So if you log into a computer at home with your Tenana account, then everything will automatically be signed in. For instance, I just logged into the computer and now I go to Google, Google Chrome and I am already logged in as me. So I don't want that to happen. So what I do is go to here and then make sure I have all of these turned off, which I just did a minute ago. So that's why I'm no longer syncing between my accounts. So, and to turn it back on, all you do is press this, turn it off, press it again. And now when I log on to another computer, it's not going to automatically log me into Chrome. So now if I go to Chrome, I'm not gonna be logged in as me. So I can go to something like YouTube. And as you can see, I'm not logged in. So I have to log into this account now. And when I go back to Google, I'm forced to sign in. This is a good thing because this means that it's not going to automatically log me in. So if I log into a computer and someone else wants to use that computer just to look something up on Chrome, then they can sign in themselves and your account isn't attached to this. Let's sign in. And now I'm forced to sign in. And when it says save password, press never. We can also turn off this setting so it no longer asks and I'll show you how to do that. So we go here to settings. and then down to passwords. And now offer to save passwords, turn that off. Now it will no longer ask you if you ever wanna save passwords. And then auto sign in, now it doesn't matter as long as you don't have any saved passwords. And as it shows, I don't have any saved passwords. And this suggests accounts that I could save, but I don't want to, so I'm gonna exit out of that. Now the last way to access your settings for your Google Chromebook, go to your icon and then Google account. From here, go down to security. And for teachers, if you have a phone, you can add a two-step verification process and it will give you an extra layer of security by get, sending an extra password to your phone. So every time you log in, you'll get a password on your phone. For students, this isn't necessary. So as it shows all the recent security things I've done, it shows what devices are I've ever been signed into. So let's go to manage devices and it shows what I'm logged on to. And as you can see, there is, um, I also use a Mac computer, and then it shows San Jose, California. Now, I'm not in San Jose, but this is actually the Securely system. So if you see this, don't be worried. It's just Securely. Basically, after we've turned off the share setting, now whenever I log into my Chromebook, it's not going to automatically log me in on Google Chrome. So this is the best way to prevent any accidental password security mishap.